chance to give something back. Three test flight. Starting with maneuver thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors ready. Hands up, palms forward. Bullseye. Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Three more targets to go. Two more targets left. One more. That's how it's done. All right, time to fly. Inspecting the foundations? I should have a secret entrance down here. You know, it's not a secret if you tell me about it. Enjoying the view? We should have lunch out here. I'm not climbing that. I'll carry you. <laughs> It'll be a dark day when I let you carry me wearing that thing. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? Oh, you know I work better with an audience. Let's start with boost. <laughs> that was wow. I think if I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to boot thrusters, it can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh yeah? When's my birthday? I'm sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. Warm up the gents. I want to punch some. Fist rocket's engaged. Time to throw a punch. Now I'll try the other hand. Knock it! 
<laughs> Just like Happy Hogan Top. Beautiful. Great aim. Time to punch out. Well done, Tony! Did you get what you needed? Or are you gonna go again? I can improve my time. Well done, Tony! Did you get what you needed? Or are you gonna go again? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds good. Meet me back here when you're ready. As you know, we have something to celebrate. Trapped in a cave with a gun to your head and a battery hooked to your heart really changes your outlook on things. My days of making weapons were over. I was proud of that. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. Pepper! I think I'll join Pepper in the living room. <clears throat> hey, Pepper. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. I was afraid it'd fuse to your skin. That is not a bad idea. Oh, wait. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. I'm capturing the moment. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. Sounds official coming from you. Have you seen my glasses? I think you left him in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. We can just catch the sunset. Sometimes to win, you have to quit.
better way to see the world. Hey, Tony, looks like you found him. I'm waiting for you at the Overlook. Well, don't start the party without me. Just one thing I gotta do first. Pack up the past. Ah, the sounds of progress. New garage, new life. Lessons learned, but it's time to turn the page. Dad always said, stick to your guns. Sorry, Howard. We did things your way long enough. I was a changed man. Pepper was convinced of that. And with her help, soon the world would be convinced of that. The hardest part was convincing myself. My former self. Gotta catch up to Pepper. Candlelit dinner, Tony? You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. Ooh, tapas. Uh, see. To start. Palma de Fuego. So, we're not having dinner. Um, not exactly. What? Huh, right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of them. The dregs. I figured they deserve a worthy send-off. If you're gonna blow stuff up, at least move away from the fine china. Put the past in its place. Drone versus Repulsor. Stark versus Stark. Like I always say, Tony, you're your own worst enemy. So what's on the other plate? Codpiece? <laughs> no. Dessert. Something sweet? Bittersweet. Here goes. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. Hey, boss. Where's the party? Wherever you go. Not a fan of my new drones, huh? Well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is hot for him. Director Fury put in a full order. I canceled that order. What? You're shutting me down. Early retirement. You've earned it. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons. Created you in my own image. And now, you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, 
Do I go to the trophy case or the trash? Or your top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Hmm. Guess I'll take up surfing. You cool? Gunsmith? But me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. That wasn't easy. I'll take him. He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. Strange. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. Have you seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Did I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Oh, don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them. That's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world, and I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Tony! Friday, your airline! 
airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I... I know! Just come back in one piece! systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. He cannot your pass, Star. We'll see about that. Pepper, can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. Engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Fire suppression system online. I've always said you're hot headed. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper, no, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Volta. What did I just say? Your system, aren't they? Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision course with Los Angeles. City Council will be pleased to know that. Uh, guys? I can't steer! Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. That looks better. 
I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out. Lowering the landing gear. <laughs> the landing gear doors are malfunctioning. Of course they are. It's all yours, Pepper. Gear is down. Three green. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, I say we call it. Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger fingers getting itchy. Diagnostics are severe. Take cover. All threats neutralized. But I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost course. Pepper, find an exit. Right. There's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. Found it! Climbing down now! I'll meet you under the jet! Usually, I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan, and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home, and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone.
Hello, old friend. Hey, pal. Where's the party? The party's over. <laughs> oh. Great. I smell like feet. Whoa, ho, ho. Blast from the past. It's a power core from an old drone. You recognize it? Of course I recognize it. I built it. Huh. That's odd. There's no serial number. Where's it from? Hoping you can tell me. Sir, Miss Potts has been moved to a secure location, but her... Sorry, I didn't realize we had company. I'm more like family. Uh, Friday, this is the gunsmith. You bring me up to speed here, doll. Hey! I'm not a touch screen. Gunsmith, show some respect. Wait, shh, 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 shh. Oh no. Miss Potts. She's. She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. Oh, we'll find them, boss. And when we do... Meet me over at your suit when you have a sec. I 
got a surprise for you. He's passionate. I'll give him that. Wow. You have really gone all in on the whole superhero thing, haven't you? Did you find out where those drones came from yet? So serious. And yes. I mean, no. I mean, I will. But I've been thinking. You've built a pretty great suit. But I think I can make it even better. Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. Pal, I brought you back to figure you out... You brought me back because we're in a street fight. And you know I don't pull any punches. Just take a look. All right, give me the sales pitch. So, I've analyzed your armor and found places where we can make potential upgrades. You can view and customize the equipment in each of these slots by activating their corresponding UI widget. Go ahead, boss. Select one of the auxiliary weapon slots. This virtual workstation is where you can choose equipment to build and integrate into your suit. You can put together all kinds of gunpowder-based goodies here, boss. Let's start with smart missiles. If you want to arm yourself with knowledge as well as hardware, the specs on each weapon appear above the hollow table. For now, let's go ahead and build these. When it comes to this stuff, boss, I always say the more the merrier. Equip those smart missiles to your other arm, too. Good thinking, pal. Now let's go see what these beauties can do. It'd be a tragedy not to, boss. But feel free to mess around with your suit some more if you want. And when you're ready, I'll still have you test the smart missiles first. Cause, well, that's how I designed the module. Armor wants to party! You'll have our enemies seeing red in that one.
hit the boardroom and the skies in this one. Whoa! I almost didn't see this one. But I guess that's the point. Make your enemies feel the sting, boss. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Stark Raving, the financial advice podcast the pros, finance bros, and CEOs never miss. I'm your host, Morgan Stark, the man with the money gene, the name that's synonymous with richness, and yes, for those of you only just now checking us out because of my robocall ad campaign, I am Tony Stark's cousin. And Tony isn't the only Stark who knows how to make money. So get ready for an intense injection of invaluable insight straight from the Stark's mouth. Let's jump right into it. Everyone wants to talk about Tony naming Virginia Potts, her friends call her Pepper, because, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. Anyway, Tony made her the new CEO of Stark Industries, stepping aside to focus on the business of being a superhero. But don't fret, Stark shareholders. Tony's still a big part of the company. He just doesn't like paperwork, meetings, the day-to-day -day grind. He grooves on being in his lab, inventing stuff that makes us all rich, rich, rich. And Pepper is exactly the steady hand we need at the helm. We still haven't technically met in person, but her emails telling me they're not hiring, uh, when I ask on behalf of all my listeners, are very economically worded. Oh, and the attack on the Stark corporate jet? Scary, sure. But that's what happens when a superhero runs a publicly traded company. The crazies target him because they know where to find him. Luckily, Tony's also Iron Man and he handled that situation like the boss he is. No doubt he's got this situation under control. As for Pepper, she is now safely ensconced in a secret location that I totally know about. Wait, if you're Hydra or somebody, I, I mean I totally don't know about it, purely for safety reasons, you understand. <clears throat> so. She is as safe as your money will be when you buy my Stark Raving Rich online seminar. Now 10% off if you enter the code MORMORGAN. One word. Here's a little freebie. The time to buy Stark stock is now. Welcome. Could have used a spotter. Okay, I'm not Thor. <sighs> oh, it's a lot easier with the suit. Hmm. Clean living. A novel concept.
The sweet science. Knockout! must have been flat. The Gunsmith AI's brand of help came with a warning label. But I was concerned about the night of, not the morning after. It felt like stumbling back into an old haunt after years away. There was no judgment, no, where have you been? Just, what do you have? you today, sir. Gunsmith suggested I brush up on the fundamentals. Oh, did he? That's a surprise coming from him. But encouraging, I suppose. What would you like to do first? Let's start with ground pound. Oh, I love this one. Let me find a good place to test this out. Spot looks good. I recommend you manually engage thrusters to focus on ground pound. Give me a target to hit. How do you aim it, sir? I pick a spot and then make a fist. Your handiwork, sir. That's nothing. Friday, give me nine targets. Nine, sir? Well, someone's feeling brash. I can hit them all if I do this right.
smashing, sir. What's next? Smart missiles. Oh, something Gunsmith made. Sir, I was under the impression you brought him back to locate the source of your old drones. He's a skilled multitasker, just like me. Indeed, sir. It's just... Well, I thought we were brushing up on the fundamentals and... That's right, Friday. And these wrist-mounted beauties put the fun in fundamentals. So give me a new target. Please. Certainly, sir. Move to position. Okay, these are auxiliary weapons, so hands up, palms down. Got it. Try aiming with your left gauntlet, paint the target, and fire. Whoa! Oh, it's pack a punch. Try aiming with your right gauntlet, sir. Paint all of the targets this time. Gunsmith is not messing around. Instead, why don't we review your repulses, sir? Sure, I know these. Hands up, palms forward. You're old hat at this. I mean, I am iron. Beautiful. Let's test weapon switching. Repulsors, palms up. Auxiliaries, palms down. Certainly. Yellow for repulsors, red for auxiliaries. All right, Friday. Time to take this show on the road. Satisfying. Feels like the good old days. you like to do now? Well, we've got a lot of fine ingredients. Let's throw them in the pot together. A cooking class, sir. Excellent idea. I'll set up the flight course. <laughs> All right, time to rock and roll. again with the goal of under a minute. Nope, I'm full. We'll call it a day.
Welcome back, boss. <sighs> Thanks, pal. Friday, what you working on over there? I've put together an early warning system to track our friend from the jet. Have a look when you can. Hey boss, I've added a dock on the right here where you can select which armor to equip and configure, your primary or your backup. Enjoy! Got it. Sir, I've established a visual of our enemy's MO using their recent attacks on your buildings in London and Dubai. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a pattern that could tell us where that hey, strikes hey, hey. next. I got it, boss. Oh, sure, just walk right in. You're more important. Using an unclassified war game simulator, I cross-referenced the jet attack with military strategy dating back to 1743. Then I ran the results through a chess program developed in the 1980s by a Russian agent known only as Victor the Fly. Now, Victor was almost certainly insane. However, whoa, he was whoa. able to do... Get to the bloody point! Shanghai. That's where our enemy will strike next. So that just happened. Do you think he's right, sir? When it comes to stuff like this, he usually is. Right. In that case, let me explain the globe. It's an early warning system that displays current threats and can even anticipate new ones. Grab the rotation ring and swipe it left or right to spin the globe to a mission location. Got it. As you can see, Shanghai is currently highlighted. Select it to proceed. Going forward, when choosing a location, you can review the data I've prepared for an upcoming mission. When you're ready, press the deploy button to depart for Shanghai. Back in the day, buying a Stark weapon meant buying a seat at the high stakes table. My brand put a few countries on the map, and wiped a few off it. Occasionally, our tech wound up in the wrong hands. But nothing like this. Streets are deserted. The city's under curfew, sir. It appears our friend from the jet is making a mess of things, and Stark Tower is on lockdown. Let's check it out. Scanning the tower. I'm getting some confusing readings. From the tower? I can't locate the source, but it's close. Look out! Someone's created a gravity well. It's pulling us in. That drone seems to defy the laws of physics. And the laws of attraction. It's an old Stark-built Meridian mine. We didn't build it to do that. 
Sir, its unusual energy signature is still present. Eyes peeled, Friday. I bet there's more around. I've detected a concentration of signals. Displaying now. Sounds like we got something's attention. Every time I lock onto a mind signal, it slips away. Sims has been damaged. Detecting new signals emerging near the waterfront. These mines are way too dangerous in a city. We need to get rid of them. So we can't leave active mines above Shanghai. Hostiles inbound. There's at least one mine nearby. Turn Shanghai into a minefield. Why? Unclear. I'm still attempting to access Stark Tower's security system. Still? I didn't think there was a hacker alive who could keep you out. There's another concentration of mines over the South Bridge. These mines are keeping us busy. A plausible scenario, sir. Well, it's working. We can't just ignore them. More hostiles approaching. Around here somewhere. Increasing, sir. Huh? Our block party seems to have moved to a new block. The enemy's drawn us away from your building. What don't they want me to see? Sir, look! They're targeting Stark Tower. But that's a defensive formation. They're guarding it. Friday. What do you bet our mystery friends inside? As I have no gambling protocol, sir, I suppose I'll wager nothing. The armor has sustained damage, sir. Intense. Maybe I can lose them in the alleys. Only a few targets remain. Let's wrap this thing up. Sit health is suboptimal.
Friday, flashback time. I'm 14, I accidentally set fire to my dad's laboratory. Long story. Anyway, he changes the locks on me. Sir? So I take it as a teachable moment. Learn a thing or two about breaking and entering. Just have to remove this panel. Rip out this wire to disrupt the circuit. Open sesame. Fourteen-year-old me would be so proud. Like you said, sir, the drones were protecting whoever vandalized your office. Love what they did with the place. How did they get in? There's no sign of forced entry. Let's check out the computers. This is getting out of hand. Now I'm locked in my office? They were looking for something, but I'm not sure what. Spoke too soon. Tim Shun. Not in my databanks. Friend of yours? Friday? You get the feeling we're not alone? More than a feeling, sir. I switched to near infrared, but keep the visible spectrum. There's someone else in here. Electromagnetic traces of their presence all around. Then let's find them. I thought I left this thing unplugged. It is unplugged, sir. In the summer of 2019, a new beacon of strength and prosperity rose above the glistening cityscape of It's quiet out there. For now. Whoa! Oh no. Sir? Someone ate my drunken chicken. That's not funny. Expecting a call Friday? The dead are restless. Wrong number. Very wrong indeed. Hello? You in there? You know, the gym has showers, if that's That was... unpleasant. 
More than a dozen people are dead after a drone Stop strike in Zinkari. A missile attack in Stark Industries looks to make a kill another black guy. The drone in the of Fort and All of which begs the question, when, if ever, will Tony Stark face the music? Tonight. So you got a name? Or should I just call you Ghost? My name is unimportant. It is the others. Those whose lives your weapons ended. They are the names you will know before you die. Like Tim Shung? One of many. Yeah. I got no clue who that is. You will. He is with us in this room. We all are. We all are. The silent majority. We want to meet you, Tony Stark. It's time. Join us. Where'd she go? She's not showing up on my sensors, but... What? Incoming surface-to-air missiles. Your repulsors should be able to destroy those missiles. Old Stark hover tanks? Who's playing all the hits? Thanks, but no tanks. Really, sir? Sir, I'm reading additional tanks en route to this location. Get that out of here. These Director Fury had a standing order for two fleets of tanks before we closed production. Yeah, we miniaturized the turbines that keep the helicarrier flying. Created a true altering vehicle. A revolutionary weapon fallen into the wrong hands. The story of my life. Nice shot. more time to shoot down incoming missiles. Excellent zone defense. moment the board is clear. Finally. Where's this ghost? Right here. Let's talk power. Not the kind you wield. The kind you yield. These are the headquarters of firms your company employed for the manufacturing and distribution of Stark weapons. Most of those guns, rockets, and bombs were sold to people you never met. To kill people you never knew. She's transmitting some kind of signal. Intercepting. It's an activation code. Since you refuse to die for your sins, Stark, others must die for you. No! 
Friday? Sir, she's overridden the reactors that power those buildings. I'm detecting catastrophic coolant system failures. We haven't much time. Get to the reactors, sir. Time is of the essence. How is she doing this? Scanning for suspicious devices. I'm detecting electrical wiring not in the reactor schematics. Let's see where those wires lead. I think we found one of the devices. Friday, enhance X-ray imaging. To disable the device, you'll need to extract the processor core. Friday, how's our reactor looking? The reactor's no longer overheating, but a cascade failure has begun. We'd better shut it down, fast. See what we got. The correct sequence to shut down the reaction is no time for that. I'll have to brute force it. You punched it. Why overcomplicate things? Two reactors remain in a critical state. I'm going as fast as I can. That may be unwise. I'm detecting more mine signatures. How many? Too many. Several rooftops. Check your display. Sir, there are dozens of people trapped in this building. Show me. That's a lot of people. It's nothing compared to the innocence your weapons have killed. So you keep reminding me. Why are you doing this? You'll see. Sir, there are two gateway devices hacking this reactor. Display time to cascade failure. Yes, sir. More hostiles inbound. They'll make disabling the gateway devices difficult. These lines lead to the devices we need to disable. shut down. All punched, I suppose. Hey, we're in a hurry, aren't we? Boom! You are taking entirely too much pleasure in this. I prefer to call it being superheroic. Now for the last one. More mine, sir. We're just gonna have to take our chances. This passion when your weapons rain death and destruction. We don't have much. 
much time, sir. The reactors. Some damage taken, sir. Ryder, patch me into the building's PA systems. Connected. This is Iron Man. Please, remain calm. Last reactor. Friday. The wires, please. Displaying them now. How much time do I have? Not much. Another hover tank, sir. Tell us to come back later. It seems to be ignoring me. A familiar feeling. Trace leads to the gateway devices. Find and destroy them. I'm reading power spikes in the reactor, sir. No pressure. Almost done. One more device. to the gateway devices. Show her just how fast we can move. <gasps> Friday, tell me no one was in there. Correct, sir. All clear. Interesting, the colors you chose. Red and gold. Blood and greed. They suit you. Oh, here comes another scintillating lecture on social responsibility from a terrorist. Under that armor, you're a frail coward. Powerless. Like your former victims in their final moments. But it's that. These victims have power. I speak for them. And on their behalf, we say farewell, Stark. Friday, get ready. Damage increasing, sir.
Your armor's not rated for combat on this scale, sir. You don't know me very much. Hey, boss! Gunsmith, stay off this channel! Boss, before you left, I packed you a hot lunch. I call it the enabler. My old Unity? New and improved. Take a memo, Friday. That's how you want to fight. Put a suck in it, dumb smith. Thanks for the stowaway, pal. Just a shame it's one and done. Oh, ye of little faith. I added an ambient power collector to your chest piece. Harvests the energy given off when a drone goes boom. So blow a bus to charge the unit. Circle of life, boss. work. No surprise, I'd know what you need. Got any more, ghost? Not in stock. Maybe you should close up shop for the night. Sure. I got what I needed. A well-earned beatdown? The confidential files off your network. Kill you later. How rude. Does the name Tim Shung mean anything to anyone? Not on my end. Friday? You appear to have a phone call in the kitchen, sir. Could be Pepper calling. Tony? Pepper, how are you feeling? Like I fell out of an airplane. You sound pretty spry for that. Well, someone broke my fall. You get a name? No, but he was quite dashing. Sharp suit, strong jaw. Hey, boss. He's on the phone, you imbecile. Is that Gunsmith? Oh, hey, Potts. How's the hospital? What kind of drugs are they giving you? Hang up immediately. Boss, when you're done canoodling, I need you to check out something downstairs. I'm sorry, sir. I told him you were not to be disturbed. Where did he come from? The ninth circle of hell, I'm afraid. Could everyone just give us a minute, please? Of course, sir. Good to hear you're in fine fettle again, Miss Potts. Thanks, Friday. Take care. The gunsmith, Tony? What were you thinking? Two Tonys are better than one? <sighs> you really should have gotten a second opinion on that. Yeah, well, my second opinion was undergoing a brain scan at the time. Speaking of which, I should rest. Be safe. And don't let your worst half torture Friday.
Folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industries has never been stronger. Yeah, Tony's Shanghai office headquarters was destroyed, but it was insured and nothing was lost that can't be rebuilt. Sure, some people will say my show is a bit one-sided, which is why I've agreed to talk to a noted naysayer, Dario Agger, CEO of Roxxon Energy and frequent critic of Tony. Dario, what have you got to say? Oh, not much. Just that if your cousin had stayed in weapons development, maybe his Shanghai Tower would have been better... protected? Funny how clean energy can stop a swarm of combat drones. Well, Iron Man can, and did! Boom! Yes, after the tower was destroyed. Why aren't there a fleet of Iron Men protecting every Stark facility? Because your cousin is an egomaniac, who wants to be a special snowflake, and doesn't want any competition. He's a huge liability for the company's shareholders. Do you own Stark stock, Morgan? You should join up with me, mount a takeover. I'll make you VP after the merger. Really? The, the thing is, I lost my stock in a poker game, so uh, I... I mean, never! I would never turn against my family. Good day, sir. I said good day. What is up with Sunday? Friday? Oh, totally. And she is great, by the way. Sweet. Love the accent. What's your point? She's not like us, boss. Let's face it. She can't build the big guns. If she could, you wouldn't have called me out of retirement. I should be your onboard AI. Well, Friday is excellent in the field. <laughs> well, obviously. Obviously. I mean, totally. I'm just saying. You know. Think about it, boss. Just show me what you made. Sure. Step right up. What's all this? Know your enemy. It's what you always told me, boss. This station allows you to look up information on drones we've encountered on the battlefield. Grab a drone icon and pull it out of the virtual workstation to view its specs. Rotate the 3D model, or read up on the drone statistics in the windows to your left and right. When you're done, feel free to pull out another drone hologram, or put this one back in the table. This place stays online 24-7, so drop by anytime you're feeling thirsty for knowledge. I'll continue to update the database as we encounter more enemy drones. Impressive stuff. It's why you made me, boss. Ghost really went all in modding our old drones. Hard light, custom firmware, she even gave them new names. Hey, I respect an artist. I have shot down a lot of these. Ghost calls this the Phasm, your garden variety wraith. Phasm? Got a theme. Yeah, it zips ahead and pilch you with rear shot. Your repulsors chew them like popcorn. You got this. Hey, Friday. Sir? Download Ghost's drone names from the research station for your battlefield reports. She resurrected them. They're hers now. Do whatever, boss. But under her coat of paint, the chassis still says Stark. I designed these for shield jet aerial support. They attach to the wing underside before splitting off. Like Remora on a shark. Except these Remora are killers, too.
a shame these never saw field use. You shut us down right when I perfected the recipe. Uh, well, the circumstances suck, but hey, now you get to see what you missed. Ghost calls this one the Skull. The way it charges, she definitely wants to bash in mine. It fires up hard light shields when it's ready to bounce. So, you know, watch out for that. Ghost calls our old hover tanks Grave Runners. Gotta say, I admire the hard light shields and the heavy anti-air payload. Those are definitely more missiles than our designs carried. Probably double staggered magazines. They'd explode from friction unless she used thermal microfilaments. You should have headhunted her for R&D, boss. Yeah, well, right now she's the one hunting heads. Ghost put some extra love into customizing these. She even tricked out the hover mechanism, made it more nimble. Guess she likes to tread lightly. No? Ugh, for a guy with no kids, you've got a lot of dad jokes. VIP security drones were all the rage in our weapons-making heyday. I wanted them to seek and neutralize threats, but you made them reactive. They're security. The bear sleeps until it's poked. But I'm telling you, boss, the best defense is a good offense. These stole the showroom floor back in the day. Sleek, powerful, the sports cars of UAVs. Who needs branding when you got style? Ghost calls this a Grim. Grim sums up my chances of avoiding them. They come out of nowhere. Use your ears, and stay on your toes. When you hear them clicking, it's game time. Why didn't you tell me, sir? About? Phony, Tony. There's no record of him in my database. Well, he was sort of a silent partner. <laughs> I'm a genius! Woo! A silent partner? Yeah. With all due respect, sir, I must ask, do you trust him? He's on a short leash. Of course. No, you're right. Have a look at this, sir. Tell me you found Ghost's location. Still working on it, sir. But I've programmed additional functionality into this globe to better prepare us for her next move. Select a location to proceed. Selecting locations will display a list of relevant missions, including ones you've completed. Nice work, Friday. I've also programmed several flight courses that should help us test your armor's capabilities. Friday, are you afraid of being outdone by Gunsmith? Hardly, sir. In stark contrast to his offerings, mine are about saving a life, namely yours. These courses will help to improve your defensive capabilities. I've designed flight challenges for Malibu, Shanghai, as well as a virtual reality course based on an old decommissioned Stark facility. Flying in VR. Think it'll work? Let's find out, sir.
This works. For this challenge, I've simulated a former Stark Industries weapons silo. I remember this place. Initiating flight test. Make us proud, sir. Welcome home, sir. See me when you can. What is this? Another attack? Thankfully, no. It's the location of the helicarrier Orestia. Director Fury would like a word with you. Nick wants to see me? Why does it feel like I'm being called to the principal's office? S.H.I.E.L.D. was monitoring the events in Shanghai. I believe they have intel to share. I knew Nick would have a good take on our ghost problem. Shield's the best intelligence agency on Earth, and probably off it, too. But I also knew he'd have questions, even after all these years. Questions about why I quit the weapons biz. Considering what I was up against, the answer felt obvious.
Greetings, Iron Man. Almost didn't recognize you in that cool new armor. Welcome to the Arrestia. Look at that. As beautiful as the day she launched. I've studied her blueprints extensively. One of your finest designs. I wonder if they kept the Japanese toilets. If you're feeling nostalgic, sir, perhaps a quick fly around? Sure. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Very good, sir. I've marked your HUD with some points of interest. Vapor pneumatic anti-aircraft cannons. Cloudbusters. First of their kind. You know your stuff. Remember that at my next performance review. I wonder how the turbines are holding up. Hmm. This hangar wasn't designed for an electromagnetic door. Now well, looks like Shield decided to go with the lowest bidder on this one. Nice to see they upgraded to my Mark V turbine engines. They've added enhanced shock mounts as well. You make me so proud. Stark Resilient Class Propulsor Engines. Twice the horsepower at a quarter the weight. Equipment elevators. Same ones I installed in Avengers Headquarters. This ship was my last big number before I quit. Strange to feel proud of what I'll never do again. Making weapons was misspent talent, but talent nonetheless. True. I just wish Nick would quit asking me for an encore. This is Arrestia Tower, hailing Iron Man. Hail right back, Tower. You have permission to land. Yeah, I was gonna anyway. Quite the commanding view, sir. That it is, Friday. Where's the guy who commands it? Director Fury's in a strategy briefing at the moment. Maybe a quick look around? No, maybe about it. Maintenance bay. Can I get a number five? Uh, no tomato. Don't know who you are, but the call box is not a toy. Really, sir? Eyes on your screen. You look like an obsessed fan. Uh, sorry, uh, I've never... What? Seen a superhero in real life? Uh, I just... I didn't think he'd be so... shiny. Agent Casado, Mission Force Monitoring Room 3. You think they heard me? This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Of course they heard you.
Dispatch. Password, please. The magnet sticks to what it knows. The needle always gets to the point. Room 17 Alpha, please. Go ahead. Agent 19's requesting backup in the Savage Land. What's the ETA? Mr. Stark, this is a secure line. Oh! Well, I, I know. I was just... Mr. Stark was making sure it is still secure. You owe me one. Check the service invoice. Ever wonder why they call this helicarrier Arrestia? Mm. Named after one of Stark's old girlfriends. I thought it's because S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna arrest ya. <laughs> no one appreciates the classics. Director Fury off deck. Camper a game? Hey, Nick. I think I'm already in one. <laughs> You're definitely being played. Makes these old drones of yours extra hard to kill, Toby. Wish S.H.I.E.L.D. had something like that. Imagine the possibilities. Maybe the Ghost will sell it to you. We don't buy tech from terrorists. Suppose we could pirate it. That would justify the eye patch. Why'd you stop selling weapons, Toby? You guys kept firing them at the wrong people. <laughs> Firing him at the wrong people. Tony, I... Director Fury, new intel incoming. Got it. So this is why you asked me here, Nick? Shield's hard up for hardware? Other contractors stepped up. We're doing just fine. That flip phone says otherwise. This isn't ours, smartass. Belongs to your opponent. Or did. We recovered it from the rubble of one of your buildings in London. I saw one like it in Shanghai. S.H.I.E.L.D. was hoping to scrub some good intel off it. But it's bricked. Won't even turn on. Friday still handling analytics? She was. I called up some extra help recently. Give that to him. Maybe they'll have better luck. Director Fury, new screen's up on the mid-deck. After you. You know what a ghost is in chess? A threat. More in the mind of the player than on the board. Haunts your judgment. Distracts you. From what? The end game. Director Fuhrer, we're tracking a giant UAV on the stock side. Shoot it down! It's gone. It vanished from radar. Like a ghost. Look! There! Destroy it! We're hitting it with everything. Nothing's getting through. Moment of truth, Tony. Who wins this game of chicken? Her drone or my helicopter? Tough call, considering I'm in them both. It's gonna hit us! Off the rafters! Everyone, out of the pit! to you anyway, Nick. Get to Start in. 
and shield. All the rotten eggs in one basket. Ghost, I see you've built a giant cage. Where do you find the time? I hired the help of an independent contractor. Well, you will have to give me their number. Detected an approaching unit that's immune to our cannon fire. It's targeting our rear thrusters. I see him. Analyzing new drones. It appears to be a modified Sark Industries heavy attack drone. The ghost has added heavy shielding to the front of it. What are you waiting for? Get in there! Got Nick, where's the air support? All my jets are boxed in. The ghost hacked the hangar door shut. Copy that. I'll turn them loose. Sir, that could leave you vulnerable to the attacking drones. Sure, but if I don't do it, Nick will go full fury. Sir, head immediately to the hangar doors. Let's release those jets. The locking clamps need to be manually opened. Grab the handle and pull to release it. so much is in need of improvement. Ah, so we forgot rule number two, then. Don't mess with perfection. Breaking an entry. Learn a trick from your friend in Shanghai? I'll free these jets and get back to just breaking. I promise. Knight in Rook 2. Light him up. Let's get him. More enemies incoming. They're attacking the carrier's underside.
notice tally. How to take down this cage? Still evaluating, sir. Tony, we've detected explosive devices inside the helicarrier. Your ghost has been busy. Friday, give me a location on those bombs. Marking them on your HUD. Sensing a trend. The nodes at each end supply power to the core. A blast of refrigerant to each node should do the trick. Have to put these bombs on ice. Ghost. One left. Let's go. Are we sure these bombs are strong enough to blow up the helicarrier? Do you wish to test that theory? He damn well doesn't. thing for blowing up aircraft. Perhaps you share a common interest after all. All bombs cleared. Too close. If the ghost doesn't kill you, I will. Just building the suspense, Nick. Detecting a large energy spike, sir. Multiple attack vectors on radar. Or? They don't know when to quit. They take after their maker. Throw everything you got at him, Nick. Let's end this. It's an all out assault. Heavy drones attacking the top turbine, sir. Some damage taken, sir.
out this the turbine's gone. So protect the helicarrier. Without a warranty, but sure. Here, friend. How about I don't worry about a warranty, and you don't worry about a warrant? Okay. Huh. I guess getting shot in the sky right, makes huh? you grumpy. Sir, my scan of the laser cage is complete. Those spheres generate energy for the entire structure, but they're protected against all forms of conventional firepower. So let's get unconventional. An EMP from a shield jet's Thunderbolt missile could render the node susceptible to your most favorite weapon. My fists? Indeed. Get within scanning range of the spheres, and I'll send targeting information to shield. Target information sent. Thunderbolt missiles away. Get inside the node and punch the core, sir. One node to go. Information sent. Thunderbolt missiles away. Down for the count. Punch drunk, sir, as Mr. Hogan might say. Good job, him. Tony, looks like those Thunderbolt missiles really came through. Oh, no. here he goes. Imagine the mess we'd be in if you'd never sold them to me. If I never sold anything to anyone, none of us would be in this mess in the first place. Thanks for the help, Tony. Keep that metal head of yours out of trouble. Where's the fun in that, Nick? Till next time. Ghost was still at large, but the gunsmith AI gave me everything I needed to fight back. Pepper was on the mend. Things were looking up. Or so I thought. At home, a different war was brewing. Are you insane? You are not equipping him with that! Don't you want to win? Yes, but there is a cost to every victory. What are you talking about? To lose one's soul in war is to lose the war. Who programmed you? Gandhi? <clears throat> oh, hey, boss. Sir? Okay, minor family squabble. But I should probably go check on them.
I'm sorry, boss. Sometimes it's just like... <sighs> you know? And then I start thinking, this... this is who you replaced me with? <sighs> anyway, what's up? Compliments of Nick Fury. Might be some good intel on there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. Better see how Friday's doing. Ghost calls these revenants nightcrawlers brought back from the dead for revenge. <laughs> so dramatic. Those front shields make it tough to hit head on. Yeah, you just boost around when it fires. weapon. The Medusa class propulsion keeps it limber enough for security detail, and the flow engine gives it speed for aerial combat. This thing can take down inbound missiles, helicopters, even a full speed jet. Yeah, I'm aware. Too soon. Futurist. I do want to win, sir. I know that, Friday. And sooner the better. Then maybe our house guest can leave. Look, forget him. What did your analysis of the laser gauge reveal? Have a look at this. My analysis is complete. You were right. The laser cage was familiar. Arthur Park? Now, that guy put the mad in Mad Scientist. His laser designs were as unstable and dangerous as he was. But he's dead. Wouldn't let me pull him from his ship before it blew up. Well, sir, then perhaps the ghost has resurrected him. I've detected a similar energy signature in Shanghai. I recommend investigating. Friday, are you still reading that strange energy signature? It's everywhere, sir. But I see no evidence of... Iron Man! Here to witness my ascension? Park, you look different. More alive than I remember. Better than alive. Immortal! I am now the Living Laser! Ugh, oh, still not great at marketing, are you? You tried to kill me but only succeeded in making me a god! I tried to save you. Your faulty tech had other ideas. Ha! My faulty tech is the reason I'm even alive! Oh, really? Because I thought the ghost had something to do with it. 
We have an arrangement. She's got your laser cages. What do you get out of it? Park is siphoning energy through that node. Perhaps we should investigate. Anyone in that building, Friday? There doesn't appear to be. He's draining the building's reactor. But for what purpose? Once a thief, always a thief. You'll need to destroy that power node with something stronger than your repulsors. Unibeam? That should just do it, sir. Hostiles engaging, sir. No, just, no. Don't do banter. For all our sins. Sir, that drone dropped a power supply. We could use it. Rocket punch the power supply and I'll add its energy to the Unibeam storage. That one added significant boost to your Unibeam charge. Well done, sir. You seem weaker, Stark. Iron deficiency. Lucky for you, Park, this isn't a battle of wits. If it were, you'd already be dead. You did it, sir. You, you, you dare. You have a child's attention span, Stark. I trust you'll enjoy the laser show! Parks attempting the same act on another building. Dual power nerves. Still me! Hey Park, you ever consider a different career path? Like what? Hair removal, entertaining cats, possibilities are endless. I'm endless. You're a flying dead man. Ready, sir. Like calls to like, be it energy or weapons of war. You can't put this kind of power back in the bottle, Stark. Park, you 
You could try to make people worship you by doing nice things. Ha! Fear is a much stronger motive. And far more entertaining. Unibeam is charged and ready. I'm afraid not, sir. How nice for me. Shanghai's worked so hard to attract the energy company. What do you need all this energy for, Park? Trying to impress someone? You wouldn't understand. Do your lab rats comprehend your experiments? Dark Industries didn't make this many during our entire production run. Then we must assume Ghost is manufacturing. Your struggle is pointless, Stark. You're just flesh while I'm... Ark, that's rude. We're talking through something here? Sorry, Friday. You were saying? That we must assume Ghost is manufacturing drones. Right. But where? I don't know yet, sir. Unibeam at full charge, sir. Armor damage increasing, sir. a lot of energy park what's the pet project omnipotence oh bad news i trademarked on it you'll be hearing from my lawyers
Well, Park, you tried and you failed. The story of your life, am I right? My story has just begun. It's yours that will soon end. Park's energy signature has vanished. Over the years, I made my share of enemies. Now it seemed Ghost was remaking them. Arthur didn't start out life as a white-hot beam of malevolent energy, yet here we are. There's probably a metaphor in there somewhere, but with him and Ghost out to kill me, I didn't have time to ponder it. You can't treat the suit as if you were the pilot. Oh, give me a break. He's not a hologram. He's flesh and bone. Yeah, inside a freaking bat no. suit. Oh, welcome back, sir. You look knackered. Perhaps you should get some rest. Yo, boss. Whoa. You look like hell. You sleeping okay? Since it's unanimous, I just might call it a night. Don't stay up too late. We won't. Friday was out, the gunsmith was in, and I was in deep. You can't fault someone for thinking the only way out is forward. So I pressed on, in the wrong direction. Head to the globe. Got an update for you, boss. You will reign supreme in that one. These were amazing. The bomb. We, the Stark Industries trademark Spear Blast tech? This thing is so cool, I want to be its onboard AI. <laughs> You've got bigger boots to fill, pal. Ghost calls these whites. Some kind of prankster spirit. I'm not a fan of their sense of humor. They set you up for a great punchline when their energy draining beams snag you. If they want the iron suit so bad, give it to them. Go ahead swinging. Looks like Ghost mounted a ventral draining beam to the undercarriage. Probably courtesy of Arthur Park. The laser's cool, but her integration into the chassis is masterful. Quite a team. I gotta hand it to Ghost. She spiced up my most vanilla weapon. She cloaked an aerial mine and gave it a freaking gravity well. <laughs> Wish I had a gravity well.
Thomas. Fancy seeing you here. What have you got? The world at my fingertips. Check this out. Any of these hotspots lead us to Ghost? Ah, complete radio silence from her. But check it. I put together some combat challenges for you. Nothing basic about this training. Our enemy's still out there. And we'll find her. In the meantime, why don't you let off some steam? Come on, go blow stuff up. You'll feel better. Trial boss. Down a lot of drones fast. Got it.
You wanna go again? The gunsmith was helping me in the field, but he was helping himself even more. As my arsenal grew, so did his ego. And I had to wonder, would this have been me if I had never ended up in that cave? No time to waste, boss. See me at the Globe when you can. Hey, boss. Good news incoming in five, four, three. As it turns out, our friend Arthur Park is sloppy. He leaves behind a trail of photonic residue wherever he goes. Now, it's not entirely his fault. He is, in fact, a living laser, and as such, it can be difficult for him to maintain a low profile. However... Well, spare me the back of the napkin. Okay, okay. Using our infrared satellites, I discovered Park's unique energy signature. Here. It's a Roxxon mining facility. Roxxon? You think Park is working with one of my competitors? No! He's working with Ghost. They're planning a heist. My orbital laser wiped out half her army. She'll need more drones. To build more drones, she needs... Palladium. Exactly. And Roxxon's sitting on the mother load. Hmm. Grab your gear, boss. Let's go crash their party. All right, it's killing time. Hey, we're not killing anything, you hear me? Ugh, you're killing my buzz. Listen, gunsmith, I need you steady and on point out there. Uh, look, boss, I talk a lot because that's how you built me. But at the end of the day, I got you. We're cool. Systems check. Stand in our servos. Nothing I can't handle. We should be coming up on the Roxxon mining operation. Keep the collateral damage to a minimum. Oh, seriously? Roxxon will sue Stark Industries. Pepper doesn't need that hassle. Well, gee, mister, we're only trying to apprehend a terrorist and her thieving cohort, but shucks, we best not break anything. Just watch it, okay? Sloppier than a soup sandwich, Ghost. Hate to say it, but Arthur Park glows in the dark. I told you, Park's dead. It's living laser now. Park, don't you have something you should be doing? Stealing palladium? <laughs> How utterly predictable. Hurry up, Park. I can't hold it much longer. Uh, Park's levitating the palladium cargo containers. If he takes them up into the storm, we won't be able to track him. Let's take him down. No! Seems like that did the trick. Cargo's loose, boss. Not for long. Warm up the magnetic gauntlets. Ah! 
I'll take this. Good catch, boss. We can seal the cargo containers in the mines. I've hacked the automated cargo mover to deposit the container in the mine. Oh, I can just see the angry letter from Roxxon's lawyers now. How dare you secure our property from theft? Park, what's going on? I've got this. Just have to focus. Do it already. The drones will keep Stark busy. You're wasting your time, Iron Man. Keep him off me. When did you become such a lightweight? <laughs> lightweight. Listen to these two. Rest is just unprocessed ore. Let's lock it up then. If you can close that mine door, we can seal it shut. This'll keep Ghost from hacking it open again. He took out your drones, Ghost! Yeah, I can see that, Park. We're moving on. There's another depot down the canyon. We'll get what we need there. I'll quit when you do. Take up the face, Ghost! They're gaining on us! You're the reason they found us in the first place. Wow! They are like an old man. I'm losing her, boss! We need to keep up! I'm trying! Or oh, her! If we lose her here, we lose! Look out, boss! before laser reforms. Suits damaged, boss. Your beam's charged. aren't as tough as I remember. Maybe with me, you're just better. That Grave Runner could be a problem. If she steals my design and slaps her own name on it, if I had eyes, I'd be so hard. Ghost, I don't think 
this temp you hired is working on. down. Wrong, laser. Feeling lightheaded? <laughs> Good one, boss. Keep it up, Stark. Tony Stark is dead. We are Iron Laser now. Uh, what channel am I on, boss? Are they getting all my witty retorts? here? Nah, these chumps are leaving empty-handed. Let's seal the mine. and laser now. Ravening this boss. Chase him. You sure do ruin everything, Stark. Another satisfied customer. Park, you're too close. Stay back. Stop shouting more as it meets ghosts. I'm not your lapdog. It is so hard to find good help. Oh, dang. What's she doing? They get a break. Now, I'll make sure your cell has a window in view. Oh, yeah. She won't let herself be taken alive. Your narcissistic projection is correct. 
I'd rather die and take you with me. Oh, good, she can hear me. You have to be faster than that, Stark. away from home to steal palladium like i tell you where home is huh? i thought that would work roxon's one of your biggest competitors you should thank me for targeting them i don't care who you're targeting you're putting lives at risk This away from innocent people. You are the one forcing this fight. Be a real hero and don't take the bear. She called in another grave runner. It's taking some lumps. Coming through. to relieve the pressure. We need to take out Ghost. You should have thought about that before you got all trigger happy. If we can get into that control room and open the sluice gate and relieve the pressure, I have to get this big door open. Huh. There's a chain attached that'll lift it. To start. First, I need to get this thing out of the way. Gunsmith, anchor my feet. <sighs> Magnetic boots engaged. Doors open. Now I just have to lift that sluice gate. cares about the dam, boss? It's Roxxon's problem. I care about the hundreds of workers who will lose their lives in this canyon floods. Oh, let's start a disaster relief fund in their memory. It'd be a relief if you didn't start a disaster in the first place. Wow, that actually worked. It'll hold until Roxxon can get some engineers out here. We can still catch her. Let's go. We need to have a serious talk. I agree. I miss you, boss. Not the Iron Man, the real man. You were a lot more fun before your conscience got in the way of your aim. How are you still here? <laughs> Good title for our memoir, right, boss? Boss? Catch 
to me, Stark. That's not how this ends. If you were gonna get away, you'd have done it like that. It's the storm. Fair bet it plays havoc with their suit's phasing tech. Look who's back! Park? What are you doing? What you failed to do, destroy him. You're destroying the last of my drones. Feel the power of a vengeful god! Park's at it again! He's... gone. Scattered. His component photons are still out there, bouncing around that sandstorm. That was reckless. Thank you. Now, in case you didn't notice, Ghost is getting away. Not this time. There she is. This round's on me. Hold your fire. Sorry, boss. She brought a knife to a gunfight.
Where'd she run off to? I'm reading a weak signal nearby. The mask. Toss it. Ghost? We got her dead to rights, boss. She's surrendering. Then she's a fool. Hey, hey! We are not killing her. You don't have to do anything. <sighs> hey! Pal! Still doing this for Pepper? <sighs> Stop! Help! Stop! You let her escape! I gave you an order! She deserves to die! Where's your hollow projector? Oh, I upgraded to a spatial light modulator. You're always talking about self-improvement, so I decided... Enough! Gunsmith, you're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I quit. See you on the other side. Jerk. I'm back! And I'm alone. That's right. Maybe I'll give Pepper a call. She always cheers me up. Virginia Potts. I can't take your call right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Well, I am hungry. Perhaps a bite to eat. Oh, empty. Guess Friday always handled the grocery orders. Still superhero work to be done? I'll check out the globe. Doesn't anything work around here? Who are you talking to, sir? Myself. The slightly more mature version. I see. And where's our loose cannon? Uh, Ibiza? Who the hell knows? I thought an AI based on my old self could somehow do the right thing. Maybe, sir. But you're a changed man. Changed enough to have made me not based on you. Or perhaps based on the man you want to be? Well, actually, you were based on an old babysitter. Then she must have been quite special. Yeah. When I was a kid, she was the only grown-up I could trust. Then I hope I've earned your trust as well, sir. <clears throat> Friday, I owe you an apology. Maybe more than one. I'll put it on your tab. In the meantime, there's a world that needs saving. Why'd you come back, Friday? Because I know what happens when you're left to your own devices, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking of that, what's going on here? 
It's Living Laser. He's attacking S.H.I.E.L.D. But Park's brazenness might be to our advantage since he practically glows in the dark. If I can calculate his energy's rate of decay, I can pinpoint the exact time and place of his origin. If we find where Park was reborn, there's a good chance we find Ghost. What do you need from me? Give him what he wants, sir. Fight him. You're listening to Stark Raving, the show money would listen to if money had ears. We've got a special return guest who specifically asked to come on. Dario Agar, CEO of Roxxon Energy. Mr. Agar, I assume you're here to personally thank the Stark family after my cousin Tony saved Roxxon's palladium mine from complete and utter destruction. I think you mean did enough damage to shut it down for weeks, Morgan, costing Roxxon billions. Pretty convenient, don't you think? Considering Stark and Roxxon compete for energy contracts. Are you freaking kidding me? If Iron Man hadn't been there, that mine would be shut down permanently. He saved it from Ghost. So he says. All our eyewitness reports indicate is that there were explosions, ray blasts, and bursts of energy everywhere. Uh, listen, Agar, your people would sell their grandmothers to the salt mines for an extra buck, and they learned that from watching you. You're a dinosaur, pal, and my cousin is the asteroid. Well, that sounds like a direct threat from the Stark family that Tony Stark is out to make us extinct. And judging from the big smiles on the faces of my lawyers, they agree. <laughs> Thank you for giving us the basis to sue Stark Industries, Morgan. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> uh, as if Tony cares. He's got more lawyers than he has mustache hairs. You know what? Bring it on, pal. And uh, if any of Tony's lawyers are listening, call me, okay? My lawyer's not available. Well, technically disbarred. <laughs> Tower. Maria, everything okay on your end? Hey, Tony. Afraid we got a bit of a nightmare scenario. Arthur Park has himself a laser with global targeting abilities. Don't know what we did to get on his bad side, but he's targeting us. I'll wreck this helicarrier and make his husk my church! This isn't gonna happen on my watch. Let's get him, Tony. Park still has a lot of drones at his fingertips. Surprised the ghost let him keep him in the divorce. Speaking of fingertips, sir, Park's energy signature is all over these drones. If you destroy them... The source is ready to decay back to its origin point? Precisely.
damaged. collection meter to your HUD. The more drones you down, the more we can fill the needed sample size. Park's energy signature is collected by your continued attack on those drones, sir. resulted in a swift increase in our sample size. Well done, sir. I take no pleasure in it, Friday. I'm doing this for science. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Oh, we'll see my victory. Enemies inbound.
below optimal, but not critical. data this way. Secure us more of his energy signature. I'm on it. Much obliged, Shellhead. We've made great progress, sir. Just a few more drones to gain us enough of a sample. Except he's running out of them. We may need a different approach. That's my concern. The armor has sustained damage, sir. There's no choice. I only need to hit a single structural weak point to bring that entire flying fortress down. He's firing blind, sir. Stay moving. We can't afford to get hit. Normally I'd agree, but he seems to be missing me and the helicarrier by a wide margin. True. He is quite lousy at his job, isn't he? <laughs> sir, another shield jet is caught in one of Park's laser cages. Good work, Iron Man. Did we get it? Was it enough, Friday? Not quite, but we're so close. Hill, move your jets into position. That's what I'm talking about. 
Care to fill me in on this plan, sir? away when he's defeated, Park! Park! Living Laser! You... You called me by my name? Hill, now! Fire those EMP missiles! Everything you've got! Sir, Park's photonic presence seems to have entirely vanished from Earth. It's as if he's up and quit. Then he's brighter than I gave him credit for. What's more, I've collected enough of his energy signature to trace it back to his place of origin. Sir, we may finally be able to bring the fight to Ghost's door. Good work, Friday. Heading home. With Friday back on board, I felt a renewed drive to catch this ghost. Which hadn't happened yet because I'd left it up to you-know-who. The gunsmith had a knack for predicting where ghosts would show up, but he had no interest in figuring out where she came from. I did. Sir, see me at the Globe as soon as possible. Thanks to you, I was able to determine Living Laser's origin point. By now, it contains only the faintest trace of his energy, but I'm certain he was there once. You think it's Ghost's operating base? It's quite possible, sir. That's great. What are we waiting for, Friday? Show me our new destination. That's just it. It's not... entirely new. Do you recognize it, sir? Yeah, I recognize it. It's the cave. My origin point. Birthplace of Iron Man. Perhaps Ghost has gone somewhere else by now. Moved on. No. She hasn't moved on. And she doesn't want me to either. My first armor, the Mark I, is unique in several ways. First, it was the only armor I ever built in a cave. Second, I had help. His name was Ho Yinsen, a doctor who found himself trapped with me in Afghanistan. Third, third, it wasn't enough. I built my suits to save others. With that one, I could only save myself.
Do you think she was here, sir? Looks like it. Then again, this place has seen a lot of ghosts. Your Mark I armor? It's here? I left it in pieces in the sand. Apparently she's... put it back together? In the creepiest way possible. I don't like this ghost one bit. Jericho Missile. The ones who held me captive wanted me to build these. I went a little off book. Shockingly, no evidence ghost tampered with this. Let's stay on point. Never had a good night's rest here. No sign of ghost, either. It's best we keep looking. Your pulse has quickened, sir. This must be a lot to take in. This is where I had my change of heart. Literally. Ginson took a lot of notes. I never was one for schematics, but Yinsen, his sketches were something to behold. Sounds like you admired him a great deal. You know what they say. Learn from the best. Wonder if his sketches are still around here somewhere. That wasn't here last time. She must be close if she left. Sir? I can't move. Your suit's hydraulic system and motion controls are under attack. <sighs> so I'm trying to reverse the circuit override. Hurts. Doesn't it? My feelings? A little. I thought. Sir, I'm rooting all auxiliary power to primary functions. I'll try to numb your pain receptors. <laughs> fake heart. For a fake hero. So this cragged womb is the birthplace of Iron Man. I think that you should crawl back into it. Only to die. I need to get moving. Now! Nearly there, sir. Accessing backup power. Motor functions restored. But your suit is running on fumes. Without my arc reactor, so am I. Sir, your vitals are failing at an alarming rate. There may be enough around here to jury-rig a new arc reactor. I can build a replacement at this workbench. I'll bring whatever I find back here. If I don't figure out something fast, this will be my deathbed. The Jericho missile? It contains a palladium-based capacitor. Palladium? Like your arc reactor? Can you build an energy source from it? I did once before.
Against all odds, that battery appears to have some life left in it. Just like me. Let's use it. Fire's dying. I can't do the same. Gotta keep looking. Alright. We have a power source. Now what can hold a charge? that. Is there any left, sir? Not a latte. Honestly, sir. Even in your weakened condition, you're... It's not the coffee I need, Friday. It's this. I'm afraid I don't follow. Keep watching. You'll see. Transfer a charge to the capacitor. You did it! The capacitor's charging. Let's hope this works. You built it, sir. It's going to work. You're not just placing it directly into your chest, are you, sir? Won't fit. I need something to hold it in place. Ah, that's why you needed the lid. Quite clever, sir. It's working, sir. Vitals are stabilizing. Good. Now we escape. Sir? No! Now you escape death by staying still and conserving energy. No one's coming to rescue us. And Ghost is getting away. I don't know about you, but I'd rather die out there than in here. What exactly are you suggesting, sir? I'll blast away that rubble with a unibeam. This could get messy. You can be really stupid sometimes, sir. If you don't mind me saying. Stupid's better than dead. Too well, sir. Now even your reserves are nearly spent. Weapon systems are offline. Thrusters are at minimum. Actuator power severely reduced. You need energy. Friday. What have you got? Lots of interference. We're not alone. Don't remember these caves going this far back. Terror cells often choose deep cave networks to fall back into. Must have shut themselves off 
When they heard the suit coming, uh, I wasn't hunting them. Just wanted to get home. I'm sensing a trend. We'll get you home yet. Energy spare. Aim well. Take this count. All power to repulses. Fire. <laughs> Still the same will to live. But make no mistake. This time, you'll die in this cave. She's gone. I sense her up ahead. We're free from the energy chains. Route power to the thrusters. We've gotta get that arc reactor back. Sir, firing repulsors is costing you valuable energy you cannot afford to spend. Something up ahead. Charging port of some kind. Maybe I can siphon energy from it. At this pace, she can't possibly replenish her drone army. Her resources are down to the dregs. I know the feeling. This is welcome news. Let's celebrate later. With the powered suit. Stuff. This company did things 
You can't even imagine. Try me. You think you know suffering because you were kidnapped? Even in that cave, you were the VIP. You knew they wouldn't kill you. If you'd been anyone else, you'd have bled out in the sand. We little people don't do well in a war zone. We're reduced to platitudes, acceptable losses, civilian casualties, humanitarian crises. All just fancy words for meat that used to be people. Before your cutting edge weapons supplied their cutting edge. Not again. Let's see how well you fight surrounded. All power to repulses. It's a pincer attack. Watch my six. <laughs> we delayed the inevitable. She's fled again. Let's go. She's gotta be tired of running. that arc reactor. You were as breakable as your promises.
All above the All burning ledge. Exhibit A, Costa Verde 2008. Amid civilians' protests, storm missiles rain down. A rebel group invades the capital and openly engages the National Army. Casualties number in the thousands. Your company's stock rose 6% in just the first week of that conflict. The child is orphaned. One of many. She becomes a ward of the state. The same that murdered her parents. They give her the name Michelle. But I never liked that name. just wanted to cut out the middleman. They were going to use your weapons one way or another. The fee you charge to suspend the budget principles. You were a coupon. Were you offended that they had the nerve to ask you directly? Instead of going through the usual layers of possible deniability. These hands are draining your armor's power. Getting away with the arc reactor, sir. Keep moving. Soon we'll both be ghosts. I admire your perseverance. But the defense should rest. It's my turn again. And I have just one more thing to show you. Soon after. 
after your change of heart. An employee of yours planned to go public with your dirty little secrets. You had him killed to protect your image. Exhibit B. The Smoking Gun. I... I didn't... Tim knew you'd try to silence him. So he made sure your secrets would be died with him. Designs, mission reports, back doors into your security. This is... revenge? <laughs> revenge? No. You're a war criminal. And accomplice to other war criminals. I'm not interested in revenge. Only justice. I'm here. I can't reach it. Broken. It can be mended. How are you doing that? I'm here, sir. In your heart. <sighs> All systems back online. It's time to be a hero, sir. Any sign of ghost? Nothing, sir. But this must be where she resurrected Arthur Park. These voltaic wells match his energy signature. How do we get out of here? Where you brought back Park? I'll be dead if I know we're here. You include How did you build all this? Sweat and tears awaiting your blood. Systems offline. Rocket Punch is still active. She's stuck. I bet I can disable her suit if I throw her into those voltaic wells. Brilliant, sir. Magnetic gauntlets online. Well done. That disrupted her phasing system. It's the Palladium. It's too good a conductor, overcharging her circuits. Let's do that again. We'll end you. You have every right to be angry, Ghost. But it's consuming me. It'll be your death, not mine. As long as I take you with me.
rights. Use your rocket punch. Rocket punch's gaze based auto target is down, sir. She can't hack Happy Hogan's boxing training. Aim true and punch, sir. Go Friday. Locating her now. She's trapped. Marking it on your HUD. She's losing her phasing ability. If she rematerializes in the wall, she'll die. Back off! I'm trying to save you. Get away! Give me your hand! Do it! It's over, Ghost. It's finally over. I thought catching Ghost would be the highlight of my day, but catching a glimpse of Pepper as I stepped onto the helicarrier put my heart in the clouds. Sounds like I missed quite a party. I'll tell you all about it over dinner. I'd love that. We have something else to discuss. Oh, really? Transferring executive power at Stark Industries involves a lot of paperwork. Paperwork? We could be up all night. That's not that much. Ooh, now you're turning me on. <laughs> Look, no offense, but the reason I made you CEO is so I wouldn't have to do paperwork. The board says you made me CEO because you're better at running your mouth than you are at running a company. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, thank God it's Friday. The prison has been placed in her cell. If you wish to say goodbye, now's your chance. We'll be right up. Pepper, we can avoid talking about this another time. Want to meet the ghost? Sure. I love chatting with people who try to kill me. Well, it's a big part of my job. Oh, look. It's the ultimate power couple. 
Why'd you do it, Stark? Why'd you save me today? After all the lives you've taken, you spare mine. You need to pay for your crimes. I'm still paying for yours. And I'm broke. I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> and the others? Tim Shang? Who was he? A real hero. Not the kind that cowers inside a metal suit. He spoke truth to power. And for that, your company had him killed. Stark Industries never had anyone killed. <laughs> wow. She's a funny one. So this is justice. They throw me in prison and throw you a parade. Actually, I don't think the city council's too happy with me. You'll never change, Stark. Even if you tried. It's too late. Your past has caught up with you. And one of these days, it'll take you down. I want to be there when that happens. If you're not, I'll give you the play-by-play -play when I get to hell. See you on the other side, then. That sounds familiar. See you on the other side. Something a friend used to say. Tim Shung. Formerly. Back in the day, Stark Industries would... We would arm both sides of a conflict. We called it hedging our bets. Soulless. What about it? Tim Shung. Tim Shung. Is he... Gunsmith? Tony. Tim Shung, the name. It's an anagram for Gunsmith. What the hell's the gunsmith? Mr. Stark, please report immediately to the map table. Mr. Stark, please report to the map table. Tony, get your ass over here now! Stark orbital lasers. Someone's reprogramming them. Given their trajectories, they'll be over the world's largest cities in the next five hours. I know a coordinated attack when I see one. Just never seen one on such a catastrophic scale. Ghost do this? Not likely. Living laser? Not possible. New enemy then? Or an old one? I might have created an artificial intelligence with diabolical ambitions. That sounds familiar. This one has my personality. <sighs> uh, Nick, I think your eyes are twitching. Director Fury! What? Sir, the other carrier! How many crew aboard? None, sir. It was down for repairs from the previous ghost attack. Then why did they hit it? Old-fashioned Stark showmanship. Just a taste of what's to come. Oh, hey, boss. You know, it's funny me calling you that, since I don't work for you anymore. But you know what they say? Guns only do their job after they're fired. Which got me to think, how do we convince Stark Industries to make weapons again? How about a massive global attack to rally the world against a common enemy? I think I need to tweak your logic settings a bit. I figured you'd say that. Well, if you want to stop me, you know where I live. Gunsmith out. Sir, I've been booted off the home network. Time to suit up. No, wait! Gunsmith helped build your suit. He'll just hack it, use it against us. We need an alternative. Friday was right. The gunsmith had tailored my suit to his own toxic specifications. But I had an idea. In the back of the closet, past all the skeletons, 
there was this. And despite the dust and the years of neglect, it was clean, pure. Or it would be soon enough. I pulled the Mark I out of the cave and put it back together aboard the helicarrier, rewired it, reloaded it, and finally, to improve it, I installed my favorite co-pilot. What's our game plan, sir? Gunsmith won't go quietly, that's for sure. But if I can erase his quantum neural nexus, I- Whoa! Boss, you made it! Wouldn't be a party without me. Missed! Don't encourage him, sir. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Sir, your home appears to have been... Encased. Entombed! A mausoleum for a soon-to-be-dead hero. Friday, what are we dealing with? Analysis indicates that dome is a mixture of hard light and vibranium. Can it be breached? Hardly! Check this out! The dome appears impenetrable, sir. I bet you wish all those cities I'm gonna lay waste to had something like this. Well, they don't. Hostiles inbound. The Iron Age is over. It's my time. of my mind. Smash them, sir! We're winning! Suits like shooting cans off a fence. Ugly cans.
We need to find a way through that dome. You can't beat me, boss. You are. I know how you think. Friday, catch me through the shield. Let's see if I'm warm here. Right now, you're calling up your old pal, Nick. Tony, need air support. You're probably telling him about my dome. I need a locksmith. But I always have an ace of my stuff. Friday, mute his mic. Gladly. For you see, sometime... Nick, I need to get into my home. Friday will send you the details. Shield's best to run. How close are we to clearing out those targeted cities? Your better half's coordinating a widespread evacuation as we speak. Right, that part. We'll find a way inside the mansion. You just clear us a path. Okay, Friday, you can unmute Gunsmith now. Which, if you follow history, is what started that whole mess in the first place. <laughs> but I digress. Sir, more enemies en route. The Mark 1's holding up. Steady on, sir. will wreck this old armor. Friday, what's the mansion's status? No. Then he appears to be rearranging your MP3 playlist. Oh, come on, I just alphabetized that. Breaking them down. destroyed you when I had the chance. But you couldn't, because deep down, you know I'm the best part of you. Gunsmith? He's gone quiet. Uncharacteristic. Has S.H.I.E.L.D. found a way through this dome? Not yet, sir. Tell him to hold off. I got an idea. Sir? Who do we know that can walk through walls? Oh, sir. This sounds like a terrible idea. down, but not out. Tony, this is a terrible idea. Maybe, but it's a move the gunsmith won't expect. Yeah, because it's... Terrible. She blew up your buildings, put Pepper in a hospital, 
and put countless lives in danger, all to kill you. You really want me to take those cuffs off her? No. I'll do it. I'm as surprised as you. So, you need my help. Or my tag. He needs your help. I want to hear him say it. If I had another hour, I could probably recreate your tag. <sighs> In your dreams. What? It's basically just a quantum tunneling system. Just. Just a quantum tunneling system. Shut up! Both of you. Are you doing this? Because if not, I'm taking you back to your cell. You can't change the past. He's offering you a stake in the future. I want to speak to Stark. Alone. We're heading back. Prisoner is staying. Hope you know what you're doing. Last time I broke into your home, you weren't too happy about it. How do you know I won't leave you high and dry? And pass up a chance at revenge? Sir, there's a new energy surge radiating from the mansion. Copy. Stand by, Friday. If I do this, if I help you, we're not friends. Once he's gone, so am I. So be it. I need help. Finally, something we agree on. Nice moves. How do you manipulate your photons? Gladium helix. Overlapping acoustics? Nah, it's all way fronts. Hmm. Shouldn't be using palladium then. Don't tell me what to do. What? This isn't what I signed up for. Time for plan B. I'm sticking with plan A. You got this. Better suit up. Try to bring down this dome. Forget the dome. Help me bring down this giant idiot. Don't push me, Stark. Sir, your weapons are insufficient against his shielding. His code is beyond next level. But I am seeing some innate vulnerabilities in his armor. Defects. Defects? No, 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 no. That's my design. There are no defects. <laughs> if you say so, stand by. <laughs> Ghost has exposed a vulnerability in his armor. Attack that glass jaw of his, Dark. This is my party, boss. And I didn't say you could bring a plus one. Especially not her. Your first armor versus your latest. And progress marches right over you. The armor 
has sustained damage, sir. when a bad roommate moves out. <laughs> Two more vulnerabilities for you to target, Stark. You're welcome. You got soft in that cave, boss. Your heart bled all over my walls. My best ruined by your sudden love for you and me. without arms. He's breaking down, Stark. Is that encouragement? It's a fact. Try not to die. You're struggling, boss. Need a hand? is a stronger word than I use. Damage to your suit, sir. <laughs> He's losing it. You lost it. 
when he couldn't make weapons anymore. Where did I go wrong with you, boss? You could have changed the world, given people a way to protect themselves. But you had to play a hero, the old things to all. Stark, I'm running out of vulnerabilities to expose. <sighs> change your plans. Why melt cities like ants with a magnifying glass when I can crush them under these giant boots? For an AI that could be anywhere at once, he's chosen to chain himself to this physical form. Sorry. Ego. He gets an idea in his head and he goes all in. I can relate. foreign object in his hardware. Something distinct from the armor. His hollow projector? I thought he got rid of that. Maybe he can't let go of the past. I can relate. Whatever it is, it's directly behind his chest plate. Can you expose it? I think so. But you'll have to get in close. Sorry, pal. Real heroes have heart. I'm loving the new jet, Tony. Let's hope she holds together better than the last one. Sir, Miss Potts, may I remind you both that the entire governing body of Stark Industries is on this flight? The board's on board, we know. Then perhaps you should avoid making reference to the incident involving the previous Stark jet. They can't hear us. Can they? Hey, Nick. What's up? Surveillance satellite. One of ours. Yesterday, it started making its own orbital maneuvers. Today, it quit talking to us all together. Yeah, the kids call that ghosting. I call it suspicious. Check it out, will you, Tony? You got it. Pepper, change of plans. Let me guess. You can't make the company retreat in now. Actually, we can't make it. I could use your help on something. Pepper? I'm sorry, repeat that? For a second there, I thought you asked for my help. 
Friday, explain to the board members that Miss Potts and I have official superhero business to attend to. Pepper, you ready? Where to? Space. Space? As in space space? Oh, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Race you there! seems to be enjoying her new suit. Uh, perhaps a little too much. Friday, reduce the thruster output of Pepper's suit by... Uh, 30%. But be sneaky. Sir, considering for a second Miss Pot's happiness, how important is it that you get there first? Imperative. I'm iron. Welcome home, sir. Thanks, Friday. You seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Again. Literal or figurative? She took off in the rescue armor. She need my help? Does she ever? Okay, then. What fun can we get into today? Morgan Stark here, welcoming you back to Stark Raving, where we are Stark Raving mad about Stark Stock, which lately is jacked up like my quads after a squat session. Why? Because some people noticed my cousin dropping some Mondo firepower lately, and it's led to rumors that he's back to making weapons. But you might be surprised to hear me say this. Don't get carried away. Knowing my cousin, he's got exactly one client for these inventions. Himself. Wait, that sounds selfish. What I meant is, technically, his client is the world. As in, he uses these weapons to save us all. Don't get me wrong, Stark Stock is a great blue chip investment. But we don't want to create a bubble based on idle speculation. Unless he does start selling this stuff. In which case, feel free to bubble like the champagne I'll be bathing in. <laughs> okay, apparently no one's interested in getting rich as a Stark. Because all my callers want to talk about today are the giant laser beams that blasted the Malibu coast near my famous cousin's home. Now look, I realize coastal elites get their ascots in a bunch when their yachts are capsized and the power's knocked out for a few hours so their caviar goes bad. Boo frickin' who? First of all, you know my cousin has this under control, right? <laughs> He's Iron Man! Secondly, I'm sure there was some collateral damage to the environment, but can I remind you that Tony was fighting a criminal psycho who would have gladly carpet-bombed Bel Air if my cousin hadn't zapped her with that Mondo laser? This is why he lives in such an isolated location in the first place. Because he's a target for these wackos. So get a perspective and go swimming in your money bins, you 1% parasites! Okay, today's show is for all the trolls who email saying Tony and I aren't really close. All I've ever done is squander my inheritance, and Tony has no time for a loser like me. To you, I say, ha, 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 because my guest today is Tony Stark. Yeah, I really do have to take another call soon, Morgan. Of course, <laughs> you're a busy man. So let's cut to the chase. You took down that giant like David laying out Goliath. What kind of insane terrorist supervillain faction created that freak? Uh, well, I did, actually. You see, there was... Say no more, I get it. Your brilliant technology misused by wrongdoers once again. I mean, that's not your fault. 
It's like if someone runs you over with a Roxxon SUV, is it Roxxon's fault? Uh, let's move on to the anarchist nihilist terrorist known as the Ghost. She's in custody, right? Uh, well, no. She sort of disappeared? Running off with her tail between her legs. But who cares? Because Stark Industries is in great shape with you doing your thing and Pepper at the helm. Hey, what about the reports of a partner who's been spotted with Iron Man in a more femininely proportioned iron suit? It's Pepper, isn't it? Pepper Potts is the Iron Lady. You can use Iron Lady for free, by the way. Family discount. Uh, no thanks. Look, when I said I'd come on the show, you promised there'd be another guest. I did indeed, so let's bring him on and get ready for a savage finance bro down as my cousin, Tony, debates our old frenemy, Dario Agger, Roxxon's CEO. Oh, I wouldn't call it a debate. Given the active litigation Roxxon has against Tony, I can't say much. But I do want to offer my heartfelt condolences to your shareholders for all the money I'm going to take you for. Also, Tony, because I have a heart of gold, I wanted to give you the opportunity to beg me to drop the lawsuit. Having met you, Agar, the only thing I'm going to beg you to do is ease up on that disgusting Bulgarian cologne. And as for the lawsuit, you should be getting an email right about now with footage proving that I was fighting Ghost in that Palladium mine. So your case is as over as your haircut. You... How? How did you get this? You would have had to hack into Roxxon's security cameras. That's illegal! Actually, it's footage from Ghost's drones, which we obtained when she was in custody. All super legal. Nick Fury's gonna email you the warrant, so we can go to court, and you can explain why you didn't turn over the security camera footage you just admitted you have. That's my preference, by the way. Or... Fine. I'm dropping the suit. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Louder and more obsequious? I'm dropping the suit! But you made an enemy today, Stark. Not the kind who wears a stupid costume. The kind that will take everything you have in the world! Uh, Morgan, let's cut his mic before he gets himself into even more legal trouble. Done! And, oh my god, that was so freaking awesome! Now I really do have to go. Of course! Oh, but, 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 but before you rush off, how about cutting a promo? You know, just say, this is Tony Stark, and you're listening to Stark Raving, the only financial advice I follow. I write my own material, Morgan. Here's the best I can do. This is Tony Stark. Morgan and I are indeed related.